This is Twit. My new motto is never buy a DVD again. Scott, <laughs> <laughs> that's Scott Wilkins. I like to make him laugh. He's so cute. <laughs> Scott, Scott Wilkins in the Santa Claus of home theater geeks. <laughs> He, oh, 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 my time oh. is coming up, too. It is. Your time is coming. <laughs> he uh, he bears gifts uh, all the time. He joins us each week to talk about AV, which is, of course, not just your big screen TV, but also your surround sound and all of that. Hi, Scott. Hey, Leo. How you doing? Always a pleasure. Always glad to be here. Uh, we uh, Somebody asked last week, and I think uh, we, it would be good for us to talk about mm. QLED which is mm -hmm. uh, Samsung TVs are QLED. They have some very nice QLED TVs. And OLED. And I think the only difference between a Q and an O is just that little tail there, right? Yep, yep, that's exactly right. And it is it is confusing, I have to tell you. They're completely so, different technologies, though. They are completely different technologies. Um, OLED, O-L-E-D, stands for Organic Light Emitting Diode, and that is the technology by which the TV makes its picture. And the organic, by the way, isn't because, you know, it's green and grass-fed or anything <laughs> like that. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, it's based on organic chemistry. You remember in, in high school or college, you might have taken organic chemistry and inorganic chemistry? Yes. Organic well, has carbon in it. That's right. That's it. That's what organic LED, OLED, that's how it makes its light. It's a carbon-based life form like us. <laughs> a little Star Trek yes, mention in exactly, there. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Very good, very good. Um, <clears throat> now, QLED, mm. the Q in QLED stands for quantum dots. Well, that's not it, anything like organic. No, in fact, they are typically inorganic. <laughs> and in fact, really, QLED is just an LCD. That's correct. Let's be it's honest. An L it, and let's be honest. It's an LCD TV like every other LCD TV on the market with one exception. And that is that the light source behind the LCD panel is using quantum dots as in addition to LEDs, light emitting diodes, these little, little bright things that you can buy and see everywhere and flashlights and everything. Uh Basically, they have LEDs as the light source. They're the backlight. So LCD backlight, screens, people yeah. need to understand the LCD is a liquid crystal shutter that opens yes. and closes very rapidly to let light through. Yep, and or, so it needs, or less light through. Or less. And it needs a back, backlighting source. Correct. It used to be fluorescent lights. Those weren't very right. good. We little, now tiny, use... Little, little uh, fluorescent tubes like, right. like in office lights. Yeah. We now use now LEDs. LEDs. Right. So what exactly. is a quantum dot? Is that still an LED or is it something else? No, it's something else. It's a, it's a microscope. We're talking about nanomaterials here. It's a microscopic uh, sphere of a particular semiconductor. I forget exactly which semiconductor, but they're typically in the two to five nanometers in diameter range. So they're very, very tiny. Now, when a quantum dot uh, receives a photon from an LED or any light source, and particularly a blue photon, it absorbs it, Yeah. thinks about it for a second, yeah. and then spits out a red or a green photon. Well, that's amazing. It is amazing. <laughs> and so you put a bunch So it's basically of, a filter. Uh, it's a, what's called a color converter. Uh-huh. So blue comes in and red or green comes out. And right. whether or not it's red or green depends upon the size of the quantum dot. It's magic. So a certain size of quantum dot will absorb a blue photon and spit out a green photon. And a different size will absorb a blue photon and spit out a red photon. So you put a bunch of these, billions of them, you embed them in a film and you put blue LEDs behind them and you irradiate them with blue light. Many of them will absorb that blue light and send out red or green. Now, some of the blue light actually makes it through the film without getting absorbed. And so you end up with blue light, red light, and green light. Which and what are those three colors together combined to make? Any color in the rainbow. Well, white, actually. Oh. All together, 
But, it, but if you vary they, them in different shades, you can get different colors. Yes, and that's exactly how LCD TVs work. Okay, because you have a more, shutter, but the shutter doesn't do any coloration. It just no. turns a pixel on or off. And here's the really weird thing is you, you have quantum dots, red and green, and blue LEDs that combine to make white. They go through these LE, LCD shutters, yeah. and then they go through color filters. Oh, later. So you're just using later. the quantum dots to make white. Correct. Correct. Is it a better white than just an LED? It is. It is. How? It is. In many ways, it is. Because the the spectrum of red, green, and blue, the, the red, green, and blue parts of the spectrum are very peaky. They're very narrow, and they can be very wide. So you can get a much wider color gamut or range of colors than you can from a white LED. I thought white was white. <laughs> it's not. Yes, it's not. It's not. It so it's a for better example, white. It is. It is. Now, white from the sun, for example, is white yellow. light, yeah. it's kind of yellowish, yeah. but it's got a very broad spectrum. Okay. So, so there's there's the temperature, which we talk about, which can be right. blue or yellow. That's color temperature. Color yeah. temperature. Mm -hmm. That's one thing. That's why we say it's yellow. But then there's how much of the spectrum is available in that light. Correct. Oh, Correct. I didn't know and, that. That's interesting. And the wider the spectrum that you can reproduce, the more range of colors you can reproduce. I thought white was just every color all smushed together, but it's not. <laughs> it can be made in many different ways. That's huh. the really – because – And we're not talking example, about the white when your wife says, oh, I want ivory white right, versus right, right. I want clamshell white. Right. right we're talking right. about pure white. Right. Of, of, of a very specific. And in fact, white can have colors, as you have said. And the color that you want a TV to produce, the color of white, uh, is has a very specific name. It's a technical name called D65, Oh, which has uh, <clears throat> it really is a very neutral white. And that's what you want, because that's what the co uh, content creators used. That was the color of white they used in their monitor when that's they what, were making the content. That's what really matters, is to yeah. reproduce the colors that the person the who made the content wanted. Yep. Accurately. Yep, yep. Exactly yeah, right. Yeah. And so at these D65, TVs, by the way, is yeah. the average midday light in Western Europe. Really? Yes. Well, that I didn't know. I didn't either. <laughs> It's a it's wow, sixty five hundred cool. degrees Kelsen Kel Kelvin Kelvin, yeah. Kelvin. Mm -hmm. yep Isn't that strange exactly. okay so, so QLED QLED then is this very complicated LEDs behind LCD panels using quantum dots and so on and so forth it's a specific name that Samsung uses for its quantum dot based LED illuminated so maybe LCD they're not TVs. trying to confuse people it's just that. QLED they, is an LCD technology, which is a completely different way of creating a picture than an OLED, than OLED. which is a direct admission, emission correct, pixel. Correct. Each oh, pixel emits a color. Exactly. because the, And in that sense, the, the LCD is a transmissive dis, uh, technology. Light has to pass through something. Right. Whereas OLED is an emissive technology. Light is emitted directly from the screen. Okay. And, it has and they many, just have different. They have different characteristics. Yeah, yeah. Well, LCDs are brighter. QLED's uh, cheaper. LCDs QLED, are cheaper. Generally speaking, yeah. yes. However, but, they don't have as wide a viewing angle. That's what some people say, but that has nothing to do with uh, the Q in the QLED. That just is because no. it's an LCD screen versus Correct. an OLED screen. Yep. Yep. Okay. Exactly right. Exactly. Scott, right. you've made it as usual clear as mud, and I thank. <laughs> You confuse me more. No, I, I am. But it's important to understand there is a distinction. It is. Between OLED and QLED. They're completely different ways of making a picture. Completely. Yep. Home Theater Geek, Scott Wilkinson. Thank you, Scott. We'll see you next you week. Leo Laporte, the tech guy. More calls and the Apple event right after this. Yeah. Well, that's very interesting. I didn't. I didn't realize that's what. I thought quantum dots. I thought this was a better yellow. No, it's no. not. It no, it's not. It's, the it's a better dots white. Are typically, it's a better white because of combining the quantum dot red and green with the LED blue. I'm confused because at one point they brought on, uh, you know, the guy says yeah. <laughs> 
Whoa. What was his name? Oh, oh no, yeah. That, <laughs> Mr. That's Sulu. Sharp. Yeah, it, yeah. George Takei. George Takei. Oh. Uh, oh, my. oh my! And it was like a better <laughs> yeah. yellow, but that was a different technology. That was a different. Te that was, uh, in fact, taking an LCD TV, and each pixel has a red, green, and a blue subpixel. Those uh -huh. are those little color filters. They added a yellow subpixel oh to each complete uh, pixel, so okay. it was red, green, blue, yellow, RGBY. Uh, okay. They, they 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 don't do that anymore. They don't do that anymore. That didn't work very well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know, it's so funny because because really history is littered with failed mm. television technologies. Indeed, indeed, yes, yes, uh, yes. So, but you say QLED does make a difference. These, these, and it's oh, Samsung yeah. only, right? Samsung only. But does anybody right. else do quantum dots? Yes, yes, indeed. Many other people do. For example, a uh, Vizio PQ series, which is a the P series, using quantum dots instead of white LEDs. Uh. So yeah, there are companies. Uh, I think I think Sony might have gotten on board. They're not proprietary. With... They're no, no. Quantum dots are not proprietary. Are they hard to make? It sounds like they might be. Well, there are a number of companies. Nanasys comes to mind. They're in uh, the Bay Area, yeah. uh, and they've been. It's not that hard, apparently. Uh, the technology has rolled along quite a bit in the yeah. last. I don't this know, five is, or ten years. This is an awesome. This picture. It looks like one of those bird berries you see on a bush but actually right. that's a quantum dot that's a quantum dot through an electron scanning electron microscope mm -hmm. they're so small exactly yeah wow it's it's really quite amazing and we're eventually now eventually we're going to see televisions in which the quantum dots instead of being stimulated by blue photons from an led they will be electrically stimulated and self-emit at which point QLED will be very indistinguishable from OLED because they're ah. both going to be they're both going to be self-emissive emissive displays. Now but that's not we, that's not for five or ten. Are years. all quantum five dot TVs years. falled or no? No. Full you array local dimming. So you could put quantum dots on the edge. You don't have to put them Correct. behind every pixel. And in fact, many Samsung QLEDs do. Oh. That would make more of a difference, wouldn't it, in the quality of the picture than than the Q. I don't, no, no, I don't think so. Okay. Oh, well, yes. Yes, the difference between Fold Fold is a lot better. A lot better. Yeah. I always recommend Fold. Yeah. Always. Yeah. A lot better. Now, and if you put quantum dots in any of them, either way, you're going to get a, a wider color better, gamut. Better white. Okay. Better white and yeah. better, wider range of colors, which is important now with high dynamic range, which also includes wider color gamut. Yeah. So it's uh, is it yeah. is some of it the brightness of the various spectral yes ranges yes so yes. better may be wider but it also may just be more higher quality a more even well yes that's spectral true and range. Uh, quantum dots can get brighter uh, ah. the, in fact the new Vizio PQ the regular P series gets to a peak brightness of about a thousand nits just you know that's just some number the PQ doubles that. 